number three, it is okay to bargain. All right, so I hope you guys can come to a Taiwanese night market and have a great time. Thank you. Have so I've been hanging out with these guys today. They're all super, super nice, and we're getting some good filming done. <laughs> I am finally home. What a long but fun day. Hello everybody, welcome back to my video series. This weekend I'm actually in Taipei, believe it or not. So I was contacted a couple weeks ago by a Korean English learning company and they saw my YouTube videos and they asked me if I would be willing to be, I guess, sort of an actor in their videos. So I was out with them most of the day today filming. It was really a lot of fun and the team was super, super friendly. Very, very nice people. But now I am back in my humble little apartment. So here's my bedroom. As you can see, it's got a decent little view, a little mountain range in the distance. Here is my living room slash kitchen. So it's really quite a small space, but it's all I need. I wish I brought the big camera out with me today. It would have been uh, pretty cool vlogging with it because actually they were using the exact same camera that I have to shoot their videos, except their lens was about five times as good as my lens. So I was out there filming a little bit of a vlog while we were shooting uh, with nothing but my iPhone. So you will notice a little bit of a drop in quality when we switch to that video. So without further to do, let's rewind back to this morning. Today we are in Taipei City and I'm filming with a company called Study Max. They're out of Korea and they are super professional. We're just having the best time today. We're filming six episodes. We're already on number three. So far we've had uh, Chong Jui Bing and delicious mango ice. So it's been super fun and I can't wait to keep hanging out with you guys. It's been great. Go speaking mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing I've certainly noticed in Taipei is there are way more foreigners. I mean, pretty much everywhere you look, you'll see at least a couple foreigners walking around. I guess there's probably a little bit more tourism up here in the north. People just hop off the airport, come straight to Taipei most of the time. But I am going to be the first one to tell you that you guys are missing out if you don't come south to Kaohsiung. It's a beautiful, really relaxed, peaceful, chill city. I highly recommend it, of course, that's where I live. I am really loving Taipei though, so far. I think it's probably a little bit older of a city than Kaohsiung, so you really get a little bit more sense that there's some history here. A lot more older buildings, uh, these streets are very narrow, and you're kind of going down these little alleyways sometimes. Tons of great food that I've had so far. Last night I had a snack and she put the best hot sauce on it, you guys know me. I love my hot sauce. All right, looks like we're getting back to the filming here. These guys have super serious rigs set up, really nice cameras. Coincidentally, they use the same camera that I use, which is the Canon 80D. So that made me kind of feel pretty good that uh, a professional film crew is using the same camera that I use. We have made it to a place called Laojiang Nyoromyan. Apparently this place is incredibly famous in Taipei. And you guys know me, I really love beef noodle soup. I've only eaten it down in Kaohsiung, so I'm really excited to try this one out. Of course, I got the spicy one. Oh yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, you're learning Chinese while you're here, right? <laughs> so we are here, everyone is absolutely loving their beef noodle soup. Yeah, very good. You like it? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I have to say, that beef noodle soup might have been better than the one I had in Kaohsiung. The beef was so tender and the pieces were gigantic. The broth was really spicy, the noodles were just perfectly cooked. I don't know, maybe Taipei is the place to come for beef noodle soup. So the Lao Ben totally hooked us up. This one is the original. Spicy tomato, and this is steamed rice with spare rib, which I've never seen before. It looks really good. We're just getting the camera gear set up here. I have been eating beef noodle soup for a couple hours now because we have to do, you know, several different takes of each scene, and it all involves me taking bites of this beef noodle soup. It's alright though, I'm having a really good time here.
So we're just getting set up here in the park uh, for the next little episode and I heard some live music and it turns out my friend Andy Good from Kaohsiung is actually up here in Taipei doing some busking. It looks like Andy is great. He's an amazing singer. He's a fantastic songwriter. You guys should really go check him out. Sweet dreams to sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams to leave your worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. We are all finished up with the filming today. It was so nice meeting those guys. They were all very friendly, very professional. I loved checking out all their gear especially. Speaking of which, I am tired of vlogging on this iPhone today, which I've been doing. I'm gonna go back to my apartment and we're gonna get some better gear going. I made it to Gongguang Station. I'm actually gonna meet up with a friend who you guys definitely know, and we're gonna go down to a pub called James Joyce and see my friend Andy Good play some acoustic guitar. We actually already saw him today at the park. It was really nice running into him, and we're gonna go check out his set. Lucas already making friends. Me and Lucas are trying to be healthy, so we both got our non alcoholic drinks. Thank you very much. What desire will make foolish people do? I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. nice hanging out with my friend Andy. We actually knew each other from Kaohsiung and I just learned that he's now moved up to Taipei. Uh, I'm Andrew. My friends call me Andy. I've lived in Taiwan for about 14 years now. Um, I just moved to Taipei. My music is a kind of uh, acoustic folk pop rock. Folk, indie folk pop rock or something. I don't know. I released my album about about a year ago and I'm, I'm currently promoting that and uh, selling it at my shows. I've got my own YouTube channel. I'm touring around Taipei, uh, Taiwan, playing in Kaohsiung, Taipei, Taichung. It's fun, it's good. I heard yeah. you were singing a song about Taiwan. Do you have a lot of songs about Taiwan? I've got two songs about Taiwan. Um, one is about my experience of living here and the whole thing of like uh, making friends and then People leaving and having to say goodbye to my to my my good friends. It's always tough. It's always tough. Yeah, yeah. But that's what it's like. Like living in a country that you're not born in. It's like you know you're traveling around and and meeting uh, people come and go. People come and go. Yeah. You, you said you had a YouTube channel. Where can they find you? Uh, just search for Andrew Good. That's G O O D E. Andrew Good. 
and you can find my channel. Yeah, thanks a lot, Andy. So good to see you again, man. Thank you. And you guys should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. I will link it right down below. Thank you. My friend Alan is running a channel in Taichung. Actually, oh, like in yeah. Taiwan? Yeah, like in Taiwan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing I, really well. I did a video with him down in Taichung too. Oh, I, I, okay. I tried to teach him some Swedish at IKEA. It was like so. Alan, if you're watching this, you did great. Um, yeah. No, it's uh, it was fun. I love this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's in Taipei tonight, actually. Is he? Yeah, I just saw his Instagram. What? Yeah. Alan's Alan. in Taipei. Get him over here. Yeah, I did. I texted yeah, him. I said like, like Alan. Alan. Say, say, I'm just playing. He knows me. Alan, we heard you're in Taipei tonight. Lucas is. Currently I'm texting you right now, Alan. If you don't show up here in 10 minutes, everyone will know. Look at this guy. You can actually type in Chinese. Wow. I'm impressed, man. <laughs> Not only a pretty face. I know. I think we're gonna call it a night. Had a really great time at that bar. Super nice to see Andy. Once again, please check him out on YouTube. He's a great musician. You guys are gonna love him. I think Lucas is trying to convince me actually to move up to Taipei. Uh, we'll see whether he's successful or not because tomorrow we are going to well He's going to take me around the city and show me some of the best parts I actually asked all my followers how we convince Wes to move up to Taipei So my video is actually my followers to decide and we'll see if uh, Wes finally makes a decision to move up to Taipei I mean we have what do we have in Taipei? We have worse weather mm -hmm. we have higher cost of living and everything else is more expensive as well. What is there not to like about Taipei? See, he's not doing a good job. I don't think he's trying hard enough. It'll be better tomorrow. Okay. We're gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. It's about time for bed. I gotta head back to my Airbnb. Lucas has to turn in for the night, I guess. Do some video editing. Video, to, Videos to edit, yes. Yeah. Of course. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. See ya. Oh, meet me on the pops of the sea. One, two, three, four.